Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, Flip with Chip, and um, we got my friend Jazzy's with me today. Um, she's coming back to help out. Um, we're gonna go ahead and sanitize and rub our hands together. We put some lotion or sanitized solution on our hands. Uh, we clean the mats. We're ready to go for gymnastics today. Um, what I thought we would do today is um, there's an I Can Do Gymnastics program that is um, sponsored by the YMCA program that we do. And um, I kind of thought I would go through the breakdown of that. Um, we're going to go into a little bit more in depth on that um, this week um, over at TVK uh, Wednesday. But I kind of wanted to go through and illustrate this. Jazz is going to help us illustrate the skills. And then I was going to give you some ideas of what you guys would be looking for um, for that skill and how that would um, expand into um, TVK, the gymnastics, the full fledged gymnastics over at TVK. Um, so ja Jazzy's been here, or she came in today to help us out, do, help us do that today. So uh, we're thankful that she's here. Um, so if you guys are familiar, I don't know if you're familiar, but each branch has an uh, I Can Do Gymnastics program. Bet North has a program. But, um, North and West have a program. Downtown Bet Davenport has a program. Um, each program has a person that's there that is in charge of that program, that runs that program. Um, but I thought what I would do is I would kind of go through the official program uh, skill book and just kind of go through some ideas of it. So Jazzy's going to have, have us help, help us do it. I'm going to show you guys the skill. She's going to demonstrate the skill. I'm going to show you and tell you what the purposes are for it and then have her and then you guys can get a look at what the skill is. So Jazzy, come on over here. So our first skill, Miss Jazzy, do you know what that skill is? Can you say squat? Okay, so she's going to do a squat. Couple of things that I want to point out real quick, okay? Go ahead and open your feet up. What you're probably going to get with a lot of the kids when they first do their squat, they're going to do a squat with their feet open. Okay, go ahead and do your squat with your feet open. Okay, what that does is that leaves us a, a room for air here and having our knees separate. So, Ms. Jazzy, can you stand up? So, one of the things we want to work on in that is, Ms. Jazzy, here's a better instruction. Put your feet together, all right? And then squat down, bend down into your knees, okay? And then can you put your head up? Put your bottom back a little bit. And there you go, good. So then that becomes a good squat. So now I'm gonna have her turn sideways. Can you turn sideways for me? Perfect, and stand all the way up, and feet together. Okay, and then squat into your knees. Perfect, can you get your bottom down a little bit more? Good, we'll bring it up just a little bit, and you can put your hands on the ground, it's okay. Mm -hmm. But remember, what do we wanna do with our feet here? together and then bend our knees right there. Alright, so what that does, stay right there. If you guys notice, her shoulders are now over her wrists. Okay, that's teaching the kids how to get their shoulders to move forward. Um, okay, you can stand up and relax. It also helps towards squat on, on the bars. So when the kids have to jump and transition from low bar to high bar, when they're ready for that, um, level five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, um, they have to use transition and they do a squat on and they can jump to the high bar. Um, so that's the purpose of that skill. So I just kind of want to touch base with you on that, um, for what that skill was. All right, the next one that's in our book is our pizza hands. So I'm going to have Jazzy lay down on her back here. So our pizza hands means that you lay on her back, turn around, Miss Jazzy. So remember, our head's up the other way. Perfect. Our head's upside down. And then she's going to flip her hands upside down. And our pizza hands, we want to make sure our fingertips are facing towards our shoulder. Get together. Get together. Bring her back. Okay, and then what that's going to lead into once they learn how to do that, because that's a, that's a challenging aspect for a kid with the range of motion in the shoulders. So they're going to work on that, and when they can take a picture and show you uh, they can do that um, skill, then this is what it's going to lead into. So go ahead and push up to a bridge. So the purpose of it is to get the kids to understand where their hands have to go to be able to push up to a bridge. And our goal is to get that head up off the ground. Can you get that head up off the ground? So shoulders up. Excellent. Good job. All right. So, our next skill that we're going to go on to, okay, and I, I thought I had the book on right, so I guess I don't, is our heel sit. So, Ms. Jazz is going to come here and sit in a circle, and she's going to show us our heel sit. Heel sit. Heel sit. Heel sit. So, what she's doing is she's sitting on her heel, okay? And this is a basic for young kids uh, to be able to get into that. All right, then she's going to go to the red circle over here. She's going to do a knee sit. Okay? 
So Miss Jazzy was kind of looking at me funny when I said heel sit because I skipped one. So we're going to actually go back after this. So this is now our knee sit. Okay? And this will lead into something else which I'm going to show you in a, in a second. But real quick, we're going to go back to tuck sit. So can you come over here? This is where she was a little confused. Because I was having her do heel sit and it should have been tuck sit. So how do we do tuck sit? Stand up for me. Oh, there you go. You got it. There you go. Grab and tuck sit. So go ahead and sit. Tuck it. Okay. What this is good for, okay, this is a lead up for after bridges. You can do tuck and rolls. This is also position memory. Um, learning the positions that the body will pass through commonly in gymnastics. So this is a tuck sit. So can you do tuck and roll and just kind of roll backwards and roll forward? Okay, this is also a very good way to get the pre spine to be aligned in gymnastics. Um, and then, now, can you stand up and blast off, do a big jump? Jump. Okay? And so that's another part that that can lead into. So that can lead into some conditioning stuff. All right? So we're going to go on to our next part. So we did our heel sit. We did our knee sit. And then right here we're going to do our... Go ahead back into your knee sit. Okay, so are we in heel sit or are we in knee sit? Ah, perfect, good job. So from our heel sit, what the purpose is of this is teaching us how to get our hips flat in front. So she's got her hips flat. Can you push your hips flat a little bit? Put your arms out to the side. Okay, and extending our torso so our torso is up. So it's a beginning level of getting the chest up to lead into other skills. So a couple things that this can lead into. Okay, number one, do your lunge. So bring your front one foot forward. Okay, now put that knee back and then another forward. Okay. Begin our lunge, begin our getting leading into getting into splits. Right, go ahead and stand up for me. Okay, another element which I'm going to have her turn sideways for, uh, and arms out to the side. Hips are going to be flat, and I'm going to ask Jazzy to do a little arabesque. So, Miss Jazzy, can you do a little arabesque like that? Good. And make that like back leg straight, straight as you can. Okay. Now, when she, when, uh, just real quick. Um, the higher you go, the more likely the leg is going to bend when you're not flexible and not built into it yet, when you haven't been doing it for a while. So what she's doing is she's dropping her chest. What we want to do is keep our chest up and just keep the leg down low right now. Hips forward. Keep the leg low. Point your toe. Can you point your toe back here? Good. So it's also working on balancing on one foot. Excellent. Good job. All right. So after that, then we're going to go to our next one. Okay. So we did our... We did this one, what's that one? Knee stand. And then we did, oh, what's the next one we're gonna do? What's that one? The X, then the little extra straddle stand. Yep, you got it, straddle stand. So can you come right here? Face that way. So uh, one of the things that I like to consider when I do straddle stand, open your feet up, is to start like that, hands on the ground. Can you do your hands on the ground? Okay, so what we want to work on there is pulling the belly into the spine, tightening up the quads. Can you tighten up the quads? Your legs right here. Push your bottom up, pull your tummy up nice and tight. So let's go ahead and open your legs up a little bit. Okay, and get our legs straight. So we want to be nice and tight. So that's a good straddle stand. And now, now we're going to come up and stand up in the letter X. Okay, straddle stand X. Okay, I like to use this because I have kids. Okay. So can you pick this foot up? Pick it up. Good. All right. And then can you pick up the other foot? I'm gonna put this one in there. Okay. And what I want you to do is your tic tacs go side to side. Okay. Weight transfer, balancing, progression. And this is kind of some of the more advanced stuff that we're gonna get into um, over at the TVK Center when we're doing gymnastics over there. Excellent. So good job. Give me help. Good job, Yazzie. All right, the next one, we're gonna go over here to our blue mat. Okay. Oh, Miss, Miss, um, I'm, I messed up, I'm, I'm sorry. Come here. You're gonna stay on this blue mat so that we'll stay on camera. Okay, we're gonna do our lunge. Do you remember how to do our lunge? So our next one is lunge, which needs our uh, lead up and getting into a handstand. Uh, actually, you can make it big for right now. Go ahead and make it big. She's actually doing a self-correction that I had taught her a little bit earlier, but I want her to start big. So what's going to happen when a lot of times is if we start too big, our foot's going to turn out back here. Um, one of the things we want to do is have a bent knee here. Bent knee here, arms up straight and strong. Okay, covering the ears. Okay, pulling the belly in. And what I'm going to have, the instruction that I'm going to give Miss uh, Jazzy is I'm going to have her move her foot a little bit closer. 
So then she can turn her belly forward. Now you can back this foot up just a little bit. Now bend that leg. Okay, so you want to be able to be like that when you're doing a lunge. Good strong, straight arms. Okay, holding that position. You want to make sure that this back foot stays flat on the ground. Okay, as they get older, the bigger the lunge is going to get. Okay, and that's pretty, typically a pretty good lunge right there. Covering the ears nice and tight. All right, excellent. Good fixes there, Miss Jazzy. Good job. So our next one that we're going to go to, do you remember it? What's that? Where are we gonna do that one at? Do you remember where we're gonna do that one at? Yeah, you got it. Hold on. You got it. So we're gonna go right here. We're gonna face this way. And go ahead and sit down. So what starts as a pike, go ahead and sit in your pike position. Okay? We'll then lead into a V sit. A V sit can be difficult. Um, so we wanna learn how to do it, but she's got it. She's activating her core, holding the legs up. One of the things we wanna work on is trying to point our toes. And then cover the ears with our arms. Jazzy, that's really good. That's really good. Nice job. All right, and then, good. So that's a strengthening thing for skill. Um, it's also an important skill that, uh, or uh, position that kids will do in gymnastics as they go through the sport. All right, the next one she's going to show you is a knee scale. You remember how to do a knee scale? Perfect, just like that. Um, I do like to use these on balance beam with the older kids to get them used to going and traveling along the higher beams um, and just learning how to do that. Um, so that's an important skill there. One of the things you want to work on is pulling our belly into our spine, rounding our back, back leg straight and high. Good. And then can you do it with the other leg as well? Perfect. Now, can you come over here and show people what it looks like from the side? Right there. So that's our knee scale. Uh, the next one that we're going to do, which we've kind of showed already, is Jazzy, can you show us our pike sit again? Face that way when you do it. Excellent. Feet together. Point your toes. Reach forward. Okay. And there's our pike sit. All right. Good. All right. Come on over here. So we're going to go to our next one, and we're going to have her start inside our red circle. So what Jazzy is going to do is she's going to do kangaroo jumps in all the circles. So go ahead and do kangaroo jump. Big one, big one, big one. Very good. And then walk back. Walk back. So then, because she's going to do another one. Okay, and what she's going to do is she's going to hop on one foot. So we're working on being able to use both sides of the body. We're working on hopping and jumping. Um, just some experience that I've had over the years as kids start to kind of get jumping around 18 months walking 18 months, two years, um, is about when you kind of see it. Um, however, they're on a trampoline, it gets a little bit easier for them um, and fun. So now she's gonna go ahead and hop on one foot. So you go ahead and pick your foot. Can you go ahead and pick your foot, put a foot inside the red circle, and then hop. So she's hopping on her red foot, and I have a really big hop in the middle there. So now she's gonna come back on her other foot. Which foot did you just do? Okay, so now we're going to do this foot. And she's got a big gap that she's doing, so I like to get that expanded into a bigger skill. All right? That's to build the muscle in the leg, the quad, the calf, uh, stability in the ankle. Um, and then it also leads into, what you guys will know, when I do this, um, one, two, three, four. You guys can tell me what I'm making. I think you guys know what that is. It looks like hopscotch, very good. So then she comes here, and then this is going to be our sky glue, so she'll have to jump up on that. All right, so can you go ahead and do your hopscotch on there? Excellent. And uh, once again, just so you guys know, hopscotch, come back and do it again, is a really, oh, start, start down here and do it again is a really good way to get your kids to learn how to skip. So what I want you to do is every time you hop, okay, pat your legs. Do you understand, Jazzy? Okay, so go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Every time you hop, I want you to pat the leg that's in the air. 
Are you patting? Are you patting? Okay. okay, let's come back. We're gonna slow down, okay? Can you excuse me for a second? Okay, we're gonna move that out of the way. Okay, you can stand right here for me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slow down a little bit on this when we go to do it, okay? So every time you land, so I'm gonna show you one more time real quick. I land, I'm gonna pop, pat my knee. Okay, so don't pat your knee until you land, okay? So go ahead, hop, one foot. So the leg that stays in your stop there, yep, there she goes, now she's got it. So, very good, okay? That leads into a very good lead up into learning how to skip if your kids aren't skipping very well yet, is you just do a step hop. Step hop, step hop, step hop. Let me show you that over here. You guys can see that from the side. Step hop, step hop, step hop, step hop. Step hop. Okay, and then that can turn into skipping. All right, so the next skill that we have, okay, in the I Can Do Gymnastics program. We did that, we did that. Um, and I'm not gonna cover everything today. I am gonna cover um, some of them, but we're gonna do our forward roll. So I'm gonna have Miss Jazzy come over here. So she's gonna stand up on her feet. She's gonna put her arms up here in front middle, nice and front, out in front of you. That's called front middle. This is called high middle, side middle, low middle. Okay, front middle, squat down and head down and do a somersault. Okay, so we get the breakdown of learning how to do that. So the other thing that I'm gonna also show you that we wanna try and work on with that, um, when we're doing a roll, come on back here. I want you to do your bear crawl. And this is another skill that's in the I can do gymnastics. Go ahead and do your bear crawl, up on your feet. Come back, okay? That's a good one, okay? Now, stay there and do it coming back. So now this time you're gonna do your bear crawl and add a four roll to it. Okay, when I say roll, you're gonna roll. So go ahead and put your hands down, do your bear crawl, roll. Okay, and then that leads them into getting the shoulders over the hands. Bear crawl, go ahead, do it again. Roll. And then roll and then roll. That's an advancing skill on how to do four roll. Alright, so that's kind of some stuff that you would see happening over the TBK. We'd be expanding on that. We did our bear walk. The next one that we're going to do is our grasshopper. Do you remember how to do grasshopper? Yep, yeah, go ahead. Excellent, that's grasshopper. So what that teaches is very good. Excellent, nice job. Um, what we like to think about with, a hop, with grasshopper is that when we get to vaulting, kids have to learn how to hop through their shoulders and push through their shoulders. So this kind of skill will advance into gymnastics and it will teach the kids how to get into this. So I'm gonna show you real quick. Lunge, hop, okay? And then eventually they wanna get one where they get all the way up to a handstand and do that. Boom, okay? So you kids at home that are working on ball and things like that, you guys can be working on handstand hops, okay? And do a couple of them in a row. So lunge, arm circle, hop, okay? And learning how to get up to that hop, that handstand. Okay, very good. All right, so the next one, which you guys all know very well, is I do Y handstands and I do Spider-Man handstands. This is, um, Jazzy's gonna show us our Y handstand. So put your hands down on the mat, put your feet up. Some of the things that we're looking for here, go ahead and open up to the letter Y. This is where I get the letter Y from, okay? It looks like the letter Y when we're upside down. Okay, a couple of things that this is really good for is shoulder strength. Okay, um, building up the endurance in the shoulder muscle. This is also very important for learning how to throw our legs when we do a cartwheel. Okay, because a lot of times, I think I've referred to it a couple of times, that when the kids get upside down, they're not sure where their legs are. So this is a great skill for that, all right? So this is one of the things that you will see in the I Can Do Gymnastics program at your local branches. All right, go ahead and come down. Nice job, excellent, keep on. Cool. So, the next part of that that I wanted to kind of cover today um, was some jumping from higher places. So a couple things here real quick that I wanted to touch on um, with some experience in gymnastics. Um, the height matters. Um, what I say when I say height matters is that it has to be a 
appropriate to the kid's size. Um, so when we're talking about jumping, Miss Jazzy is, you're seven, right Jazzy? Okay, so her height, her height basically, is gonna determine how high she should be jumping. So can you come on over here for me please? So for instance, if I was to stand Jazzy right here, see where her kneecap is, okay? That height is probably okay for her to be able to jump that angle that way. She's not going to be putting too much pressure on her joints when she's jumping. She's not going to be able to put. She's not going to have to push too much pressure on her quads and on her knees when she's learning how to jump. Um, the jump is important because it teaches kids how to stick landing, teaches them how to come back to safety landing, um, and it's also the finish to a routine and saluting. Um, so what I'm going to have her do uh, is I'm going to have her do a squat on. So I'm stand behind it. Stand behind it, put your hands on there, and then jump your feet up on top. Okay, and stand up. Okay, and when she's gonna jump down, I'm gonna have her jump down. Okay, remember we measured it out, her knees are probably right about there, so this is okay. Plus, she has some landing down here in the knee. And you put your arms out here in front, and then jump off her knee and do a stop sign. Okay, we're gonna do that again, but I don't want you to reach for the ground, okay? Because you need to pay attention to Mr. Chip, okay? Alright, so squat on. Climb up there. Perfect. Now we're going to stand up. Stand up. And then when you jump down, don't touch the floor. Keep your hands out in front. Perfect. Okay? And then that works on. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. Put your feet together a little closer. Okay? Eyes up. Put your belly in it. Tight. Okay? Knees slightly. Okay? Arms up. All right? Very good. So, what I was talking about with a two-year-old, a one-year-old, we basically want to, when they're jumping, we want to make sure that they're jumping from a, a spot that's knee height. So they can get up there for me. Just climb up there. Okay, so this is generally a pretty good height for two-year-old, three-year-old to do their jumping down. Okay, can you turn? Okay, and then pay attention, jump down and do your stop sign. Excellent. So that's a pretty good landing. The only thing that we want to work on is getting our feet in. Pay attention. And put our arms up. Bend your knees, feet together for me. Very good. So, those are the things I kind of want to touch on. We're going to go into a little more in depth um, on this on Wednesday over at the TVK Center. So, I want to say thank you to Miss Jazzy for helping us out today. She was a big helper today in helping us do our um, I Can Do Gymnastics book. There are some other skills in there. There's balance beam stuff in there. There's bar stuff in there that we will touch on at a later date, probably over at the TVK Center on Wednesday. Uh, we're going to do an afternoon um, little thing, get together with um, the coaches in the I Can Do program. Um, so anyway, thanks for joining us today with our Clip with Chip. And thank you to Jazzy for joining us today. Um, appreciate you guys being here. Appreciate your support for the YMCA programs. Um, excited about hopefully getting back up and getting running soon so we can see you guys over at the TBK Center. Um, I'm going to leave you with this. Uh, once again, stay safe, stay happy, smile. Uh, enjoy the time that you're getting with your family right now because we're probably not going to get this again. So thanks for joining us today, you guys. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. See you soon. Bye.